Hi guys, so a bit of a different episode today. With the way the fixtures have landed, we've got a club game and an international game on the same day, so that should be interesting. So since the last episode, which was against Pescara, we've been unbeaten, we've had a really good run of form, winning pretty much every game apart from a couple of draws. I won't go through all of them. But this is the league table at the moment. So despite our really good run of form, Medina and, and Pescara aren't letting up in the title race. It's going to go right down to the wire, I think, over who gets promotion this season. So, internationally... In fact, we've played an international game that I should probably show you as well, recently. We beat Andorra a few days ago, 2-1 win. I think it was a really dominant performance as well. Yeah, 28 shots to 3, 2.7 XG to 0.35, a really good win for us. And it sort of shows the progress we've made as well, because if you look, our first season, we lost to Andorra in one of our earliest games. So it shows the progress that we've made in, in a short space of time. We're beating a team that's ranked 174th in the world. And we're playing Austria today for a bit more of a challenge, who are ranked 37th. So I'm expecting like a bad loss in that one, but it'd be nice to see if we've made any sort of progress against the better teams. Right, so I think this is the team I'm going to go with. We're going to play a 4-1-4-1, try and keep it tight. We did go a bit more attacking against Andorra playing a 4-2-3-1 but I don't think we can go that way against a team ranked in the top 50 in the world. I'm going to say there's no pressure. So yeah I think we're playing at 3 o'clock internationally and then 5 o'clock for the club team in the same stadium. I think the two games crossed over the other day as well, so I don't know how that worked. So we've got an early injury which is great. Gonna bring on Casado. It's a player that I've called up for the first time. Decent-ish right winger. Got some decent attributes, but nothing special. How long can we hold out then against Austria today? Corner. In towards Alaba. Some of the names here. Yusuf Demir. Bit of a wonder kid. Crossed it. Collages it. Heads it wide. We survived 10 minutes. Another corner. I can see someone unmarked here. We've dealt with it. It's going to come back though. Valentino. Oh, that's such poor goalkeeping. Goes under the keeper at the near post. And it's 1 0. It's what we expected, though, really. A bit of an onslaught in this game. Woba now down the left. Crosses it into Kalajdi. We got it away to Nanny though, he can't hold it. It's gonna come back, it's a bit uh, Valentino, Baumgartner, 2 0. So on the current ratio we're headed for about a 9 0 loss here. Goal every ten minutes. Not ideal. Baumgartner, slightly eaten at the near post. Not going to blame the keeper for that one. Bit of encouragement, not that it'll make much difference. Oh, we've survived another 10 minutes without conceding, so that's always good. 
whole lot. Is it going to be them again? Luca Tosi to Andrea Tosi to the other Tosi. Lyman's bringing it forward now. Oh, he's gone past him too easily. Across the back post. Bam, got it. Colombo does well. I don't think that was the proper whole lot though. There's going to be another one. Valentina down the right side. Kalajic. Oh, he's missed a sitter. Luckily for us. Got a couple of tired players from the earlier game in the week against Andorra. I don't actually think that's been too bad. I was going to tell them they've been unlucky. Lying to them a little bit, but can't get them too demoralised. It's going to come back at us again. Friedel. Allowed to bring it forward out to Woba. Plays it through to Renner. Renner goes back to Woba. Is the cross going to come in? Zaver so crosses it. Collages it. Finally scores one of his chances. We've got away with a few of his headers, but not that one. Right, we better make some subs, get some of these tired players off. Andrini, one of our best players. Not ideal that we have to take him off. Filippo Berardi. Another one of our best players having to come off. Can we make any more subs? Oh, we can. That's alright then. So basically, we have to sub all of our best players off now. Could get even uglier. Woba crosses it, collages it. Oh, Columbo's got caught in no man's land there. I don't know what I was thinking organising a friendly against Austria. <laughs> Needed another team of Andorra's level, I think. We have had a shot on target. We just haven't seen it. So many players having poor games that I could take off, but yeah, I could sub nine or ten of them really. I've had two shots on target now. Free kick, back post, whoa, but oh, that's a great header to be fair. Difficult enough as it, as it is, and we can't even defend set pieces. Can we get to full time without conceding any more? Right, about what I expected then. I was, I was expecting anything between about four and seven, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to say I want to see improvement. I can't really say I'm pleased with the heavy loss. Right then, we're straight into this all-important league game against Sasana. We really can't afford any slip-ups because, as you see, Pescara have won again. Medina have got a game in hand and they'd only be a point behind us if they win their game in hand. It really is a, a total race where we have to win all of our matches to stay in control of it. We've got two suspensions as well, which isn't ideal. Antonini can come in in defence and Missouri for Brandy midfield we also have our backup goalkeeper out injured our first choice goalkeeper was injured for a little bit as well Gagliano our top scorer is out for a month so there's been some difficulties to overcome We won't be able to name a full bench then. I 
think this is what I'm going with. I haven't got too much choice in some of the positions. I think this is probably our most difficult game left in the running against the top six team. I think the rest are sort of mid-table or lower. So it's possibly the biggest banana skin that we've got to overcome. We haven't created anything early on in this one. Really exciting opening 20 minutes. Right, it's going to be them. Bortolusi, Migliorelli, Giappone, that's good save. Really need to win this to stay in control. Masori, Dorigo, D'Andrea, can he create something? Goes back to Masori, Dorigo, D'Andrea, plant it back nicely, Spizzacino's got him down the right, Kofi, or Siofi, puts us 1-0 up, what a move from our team there, we worked it really nicely here. Andrea in Missouri heavily involved, gets it out to Spizzacino and Siofi couldn't miss from there. Or if he had, I wouldn't have been very pleased. Bit of a smash and grab so far. Our first shot on target that the goal. Borsa Lucy now, Spizzacino intercepts. Andrea, can we get a second before half time? Missouri. Sana, Siofi, Moretti, we're keeping possession nicely. Moretti into Siofi. Bassano down the left. Into Moretti. Missouri from deep. Find Siofi. 2 0. He's come up with some big goals today. He was out, for a broken, out with a broken ankle for a few months earlier in the season, but he's come back and been really important. Scored a few important goals and assists. Another whole lot, considering there was none in the opening 20 minutes. Aragone, Andrea intercepts, Dorigo now. Sorry, knocking it about again. Moretti finds the ball in behind. D'Andrea. Oh, he belts it, but the keeper gets himself in the way. Corner now. Kiofi to Antonini. They've dealt with it. Is it still a proper highlight? Colombini. The centre back trying to find some room down the wing. Finds Moretti. And we're just going to keep it, I think. Right, we've navigated the first half brilliantly. It's going to sound very happy with how it's going, keep it up. Like I say, I think this is our most difficult game left in the running, so if we can come away with the points here, hopefully we're on our way to promotion. Right, Bassano is really tired. Half an hour left. Matteo Pinelli can come in for him. He's decent, but still a big downgrade on Bassano. Spizzacino is tired as well, but I don't really want to take him off. Because Mastino really isn't of the same quality. Kiofi as well is another one that could come off, but he's on a hat trick. He's had a brilliant game. Right, I think we've got to freshen it up a bit now. 20 minutes to go. Moretti. I was going to... We haven't got Brandy available though. I can't take him off. I am going to take off Spizzacino now. Q 
to go through saving for the next game. And Sibilio in for De Riga. I am having to sort of really pay attention to these matches to make sure we don't slip up with the other teams winning constantly. Bit of time wasting for the last 10 minutes. Might make one final sub to waste a bit of time. Free kick to us now, Moretti, back post, Antonini misses. Dandrea's now picked up a knock, which isn't ideal. He's an important player. Karamurka can come on for him. Into added time now. Surely we've got the win. Mestino now down the right. Finds cross. Pagliuca. Oh, heads over. Shouldn't matter though. Three minutes left. Got him behind Bortolus. Antonini's made a tactical foul there. He's taken the second yellow. I don't blame him. I think it might have been the right decision. So put the midfielder back into defence, I think. go 4-4-1 four, four, for the last couple of minutes right surely that's it now I've got him behind Silvestro Giappone saves and we've blocked it that's defending the champions there hopefully everyone preserving the clean sheet Cross to the back post. How much added time are we playing, ref? Right, full time. A huge win for us. Keeping us top of the table. Four games to go. We're five points ahead of Pescara, who've played the same. And six points ahead of Medina now, who drew today, so that they've dropped points. That could be huge. It means now we've got a bit of a cushion. Right then, four games to go. I'll be back either for a promotion decider or when we've clinched promotion. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.